Hello. Okay, really quick before I start the video, I've got to apologize. I realized just for recording this video that the mic was too close to my face, so there's a little bit of breathiness in my commentary. Are you serious? The lack of professionalism on display is absolutely- There's no time, ah! Slushy! It's funny because it hurts. Anyway, on the bright side, if it's not too distraction, just know that my commentary will sound even better in the future. Enjoy the video. Hello, everyone. My name is Frozen. And I'm Slushy. Oh. Thank you. And today, we are going to be playing Baldur's Gate. Um, so I've already gone through, uh, three different games. I'll let Slushy describe them for you. Okay, speed around. His first game, he was a half-elf wizard. Got two party members, broke into a dungeon, and was deeply decayed by the undead. They realized the last autosave was back in the tutorial zone, so he trashed that run. Next up was the Tiefling Warlock. He got through the tutorial, then the game pooped. No cinematic, no voice lines, no spawning characters, it just broke. Then he restarted that same Tiefling Warlock. The game didn't poop itself this time. He got three party members, beat some goblins, met some druids, then decided he should actually record this game for his channel. Whew! Stalking fasting is actually pretty difficult. And now I just defeat the purpose of a brief intermission by talking about it. And now I'm losing the audience. Okay, back to the game. Yeah, I, I was hoping to get to play as one of the campaign characters. I was hoping for, um, that I'd be able to actually play as Wild. But then I found out right before recording this that only custom characters are allowed right now in the pre-release. So, looks like I'll just be starting a brand new custom character anyway. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and jump into the game. Um, I'm going to be playing the, the opening cinematic. So if you want to skip ahead of that because you've already seen it, I'll throw up time for that. Actually, I've taken the liberty of putting together this table of contents, if you'd like to skip ahead to important parts. Yep. Okay, stop staring at it. You're making it nervous. But we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, and we are back. Welcome to customer creation. Customer. Character, even. So, the thing about this game is it's very heavily based around D&D. Right now, they only have uh, six classes. There's a fighter, ranger, rogue, cleric, warlock, wizard. So, I'd prefer to play as a druid, but that's not here. It might be interesting to play as a ranger. I think I actually am going to play as a ranger. I've never played a ranger in D&D, I don't know... I mean, I, I know vaguely what things that he can do. Um, as far as favorite enemy... Okay, so instead of picking a, a specific enemy, it seems it's more general in this game. Okay, so I think I'm going to choose Magebreaker. It says you have a history of battling spellcasters, gain proficiency with Ar Arcana, and the true strike True Strike Cantrip, which gains you advantage on attack rolls against your creature. And Wisdom is your spellcasting ability for this spell. So one thing I've noticed about this game 
is that wisdom is actually pretty important, even when it's not important. Because the whole campaign um, around this game has to do with mind flares. But since you're, you're connected with mind flares, um, other characters are also connected with mind flares, and there's some fun stuff you can do with wisdom to try to get into people's thoughts with that. So I kind of want to play a character with high wisdom. So I think I'm going to turn up wisdom on this ranger. Yeah, so that, that'll help me with that. And there's also one thing at the beginning I really want to get an arcana check for. So let's hope I can get that. And then what about this? Natural Explorer. I think I'll go with Beast Tamer. You have cultivated a strong bond of animals. You can cast Fine Familiar as a ritual. I, I haven't uh, found a good use for Fine Familiar yet, but I know there is some, at least for scouting, if nothing else. And it's, it's kind of interesting to have spells like that in this game that can spawn you creatures. Yeah, so we're going to go with the Ranger class. Let me fix the skill set. I'm going to change nature to animal handling, I think. Just because there's, it seems that there's some fun stuff to do with animals in this game. <laughs> Actually, I, th I think I kind of like it the way that is. So yeah, the, the um, choosing your scores in this game is uh, like the D&D uh, point by system. So you subtract one from here, you can add it somewhere else, but then there's still the maximum. But... I think this is decent. Decent enough, actually. So, now I got all this figured out. Let's go back to here. So I need a, a, a name for this character. Slushy Light. He's like slushy, but not as good because he is not fourth dimensional. Damn right. And then background. Actually, I think I like Folk Hero as a background, because it gives me Animal Handling and Survival, which should mean I can go back to here. Yeah, so now I can use some other things to do for this. Since I don't have high strength, well, I mean, I have a 12 strength, that's not that bad. I'll go ahead and throw Athletics in there. Um, get rid of investigate. I haven't really had found a use for investigation. Perception is everywhere. Instead of like passive perception, each character rolls an active perception whenever something is in the world for them to notice. But I haven't found a, a use for investigation yet. So yeah, I think I like this right here. Okay, now let's go to the actual character customization. So right now the uh, races are right here, the ones that you can do, and there's some subclasses. Um, like this elf, you have high elf, wood elf, um, and then these half elves, you got a high half elf, hot wood, and drow. But, uh, yeah, so let me make some character decisions real quick. So I think I want to go with a wood half elf. Um, and of course I'm an idiot for not thinking about changing your race, changes your abilities, but we'll just ignore that. So yeah, um... These are my new ability scores. Dexterity slightly lower, which means I won't be able to get an extra plus when I get an ability score improvement, but that's fine. Uh, this is still okay. And now, appearance. So right now, there's only a few voices in this game. Hells. A tiny slot. The stone's less worn here. Hells. Something just woke up down here. Yeah, so that's all the voices. No room. There's only two guys and two females, so. Hells, something just woke up down here. The stones, less worn here. Yeah, I like the, I like the third one. And let me fix you right up. Okay, so this is slushy light. Actually, you know what? I'll just change you to light for short. Hopefully Slushy won't mind. <sighs> I'll allow it. So we are done with this character, but we're not done with character customization because... Who do you dream of at night? You have to customize 
the uh, the look of whatever your character is going to be into. Now, I don't know what this is going to end up doing down the road. I just know you've got to do it. So let me fix up his uh, true attraction. The only thing in this game is that there's no clothes customization. Uh, I'm not totally sure what this is even all about, but uh, yeah, here he is. So yeah, now let's actually get into the game. And by that, I mean the next cinematic. So if you want to skip that, because you've already seen it, there's a timestamp. Okay, here we go. And here we are. Oh, my head. 
Okay. So let me just play around some things, make sure I know what's what. Alright, so let's, uh, oh. Oh, froze for a second. Let's, uh, check out this thing. This nursery. This is the pool that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Alright, so let's investigate the pool. I haven't really had it found a use for investigation. Literally the first roll in the game. So yeah, this is um this is the thing with this right here. So this is the target. Every single roll you do is gonna tell you what your DC is. But instead of um every single time you can be rolling a D twenty, instead of needing like a ten, it's gonna subtract what you have, like from intelligence down here. I have a minus one from intelligence and a plus two for proficiency investigation. So that ends up with a plus one and trying to investigate things. So they subtract that plus one from the target roll of ten. So you're going to every single ability check is done like that. It goes your target DC, subtracting what you're good or bad at from it. And every single time you're gonna be rolling a straight D twenty after that. And I got a sixteen. So that is a success. The casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. Well, let's the make it crumble. Crumbles beneath your hands, sloshing volatile brine as it collapses. And you saw some um, some weird things going on with the animation there. And once again, this is early access. So I've, I've noticed uh, most of the cinematic and voice line things are okay. They're, uh, these are little refresher points. Um, I've only seen these on the ship. I don't know if there's any elsewhere, but most of the voice lines spoken by characters, um, like half of them have the mouse moving, the other half don't. Then once you get further into the game, there is definitely a lack of uh, proper animations going on. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> And that's not creepy in the slightest. Ah. So you see, we're in dangerous peril. So the way I need to get across here is this is the jump, which acts as a disengage, as you can see, in D&D for when you're in combat. But it also lets you do this. We. Isn't that fun? Abomination. This is your end. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh! My head! What is this? Squaw. You are no thrall. Blackith blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Imps block the path forward. You will assist me in destroying them. We must reach the helm before we transform. And here are the dialogue options. There's quite a few. Uh, the only thing is your character never actually says anything, so I'll definitely have to be reading them. Um, so I'll just say, transform, what do you mean? We carry mind flayer of parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, Kinky. we will be geich, mind flayers. We are turning into mind flayers, there must be something we can, we can do. do. Nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. You are a smart lad. And who are you? Who yeah. am I? Your only chance of survival. And you mine, though it pains me to say it. Uh, onward then. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. So now she is in my party. 
And one thing, spoiler alert, um, when I get off this ship, she's no longer going to be with me. But she's in my party right now. And she has a scroll of vivify and two potions of healing, as every character you get added to your party does. But since she isn't going to be with me later, I'm just, uh... Okay, so... Let's go on ahead. And welcome to combat. Um, so combat happens in turns, just like D&D. And then you roll the dice. It, all the dice automatically gets rolled up here. Uh, what you can do is highlight it, yada yada. You can, these are bonus actions right here. And these down here are um, alternate actions you can do that take up your main action. Oh yeah, and this right here is the moving bar. So instead of D&D where it's like 30 feet, it's actually measured in meters. So the, um, I don't actually have, so the, the standard movement is uh, 9 meters. But I have slightly higher movement at 10.5. I think it's from being a half wood elf. I'm not totally sure. I wasn't paying much attention. But uh, yeah, so we're in combat right now. It's because of these guys right here. Not that you can actually see them. There's three imps right here. And there's a lot of verticality in this game. Um, like regular D&D, you don't think about it all that much. When you do, it's, it's hard to hard to imagine because you're usually doing with like a 2D surface if you're playing on a grid. But this game doesn't have that problem. So there's quite a, a few things you can do. Um, and these things right here are little bombs. So if you shoot these, they will explode. He looks close enough, so I think I'm going to come over here and shoot that. And one other thing to explain, every weapon in this game has a, um, has a, a special, a special attack that can be done, uh, once per day. And so, like, this is a, uh, this is a, a short sword. And so this special thing is going to be that you'll, you'll slash the character, or you slash the enemy and it'll start bleeding. Um, and that'll be for one attack you can do per day. And then my ranged one, that you're going to get pinned down, so the movement will be reduced by three meters. So it's just it doesn't it's not a huge amount, but they're just a, a nice little thing extra that you can do. So let me go ahead. I would use true strike on these if there was a way to have known about this combat beforehand, but I'm not going to waste that. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot this bomb he has over here, um, and then. Instead of doing actual rolls for combat, it just tell you, tells you what the percentage is that you'll hit. So it has a bunch of rolling going on behind the scenes. Um, yeah, this right down here will let you know um, if you really want to look at it. it. It'll tell you all the rolls that are going on. And I shot the bomb. Wait, 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 wait. did I not do enough damage to it? No! Okay. <laughs> this is the actual thing that explodes. Not the thing I shot at. Okay. Well, that's a fun thing to go ahead and get started with. <laughs> Let me just run slightly farther away. Okay. So, the I could do any of these as a bonus action. But there's really not much point. I can just try to hide. Yeah, so this, when you hide, it'll show you what the enemy's, um, what their view is. So he, I'm actually am hidden right now, um, just because of this right here. But as soon as they move closer, they'll be able to see me. So I'll just go ahead and hit my turn. Okay, and then use a melee weapon for enemies near you. So she's a, a fighter class. Um, she also does have a, a ranged attack on her. So she can't do much, but she should be able to actually blow this thing up, which I failed at doing. She also has 10.5 movement. Maybe I was wrong? I, 
could have sworn. Oh wait, no, she has nine. Okay, never mind. So yeah, even though I can pull it out here, she'll still stop at the nine. So I will let her make this range attack on this to hopefully blow it up. There we go. Did it actually take him out? I think it might have. Yeah, it did. Okay, that's the first time I've had one of them taken out by an explosion. That's interesting. This is just a, a corpse. So yeah, this entire area now is on fire. Oh, I've always shot this. So yeah, th these right here, the smaller ones are an explosion. But they don't leave behind this fire floor. Oh, dang. I wouldn't have done that if I'd known. Because now I can't lose a corpse. Although they have much on them. Anyway, I'll let her go ahead and end her turn. Um, do they not notice me? I mean, I just set off an explosion. Surely they would have noticed someone. Why did they both skip the turn? I don't know. But that seems fun. I'll go ahead and move out here. Oh, I'm still hidden. So yeah, when you when you move into their view, there is um, there is heavily obscured, lightly obscured, and then fully shown. So the lightly obscured, um, you have to do a stealth check to see if they see you. Heavy obscured, you do not have to do that stealth check unless they have dark vision. Then you have to do it anyway. Regardless, hiding really doesn't do anything for me <laughs> right now. Um, and I can shoot at him for 95, which basically means if, as long as I don't critical fail, I, it will be a hit. And I only did two damage. Feels good. Feels good. Oh, there's not much I can actually do. I think I want to stay back here. So I'll just move back here. And I'll just go ahead and try to hide again. Yeah, I can't do it. So yeah, if you're in the field of view, you cannot start hiding at all, it would seem. But if you move into it, you can still do a self-check. But anyway, I'll end my turn. That's a good miss. Um, so you're actually very close to this now. I'm going to let you go ahead and blow this one up. Maybe I was wrong. <laughs> So, that did leave fire. It wasn't as big, but there was still fire. Not only that, but this guy up here was completely unaffected. And now I have blocked my path. So I don't know how I'm going to ever get around this, because I need to go over here. Oh, okay. I can probably run through fire, because there's this restoration point. So maybe it won't be that big of a deal. I could have sworn this didn't leave. I guess that's what I get for meta gaming. So, you know. I'll just leave her here, I guess. And of course, they're flying, so they are completely unaffected by the floor fire. Which is fun. I'll do a range attack on you. Critical miss! Lovely! We love to see it. Okay, there's not much I can really do here. I'll just hit my turn. At least now you are within killing range from our fighter. So we'll swing at you. Five decent, but it would have been better if you had just one more. Um, as a bonus action, I'll just shove you away. It won't do much. But if he if he was a creature that couldn't fly, I would have just shoved him into fire. But I mean, it wastes a little bit of his movement. But he probably wasn't. Oh. He actually came all the way over here for me. Um, I know you're beside me. So I'm going to... I'm going to disengage out of his way. I'm going to swing at his buddy over here. Try to hit him. And he is down. Lovely. 
in my turn. And I will let you swing at the last one. And I have defeated combat. Oh, the fire actually did go down. So it doesn't last forever. Now, to the helm! To the helm! Right after I loot every single corpse in this room. Nothing. Oh. Got gold and the scroll of mage armor. Let me, so I'm right now, I, I have her selected. So she's the one leading my party. Um, I can separate them and choose to only use one of them at a time. But I don't want to do that. I'm going to select my main character before I loot, just because it'll go into her inventory if he loots it. It doesn't matter too much, because I can just go into the inventory and trade things around, but it does save me that time. A little bit of stuttering there. That's good. Yeah, so I'll go over here and restore that one HP. And I'll go ahead and make my way out onto the front of the ship. Yeah, so this ship is being overtaken by devils. We love to see it. His hair is majestic. I think he's the first character I've seen with blowing hair. Goodbye. And we're just casually standing by, viewing everything. Actually, your character just fell on its ass. Eat gads. Go talk to some uh, dying people. Uh, Boo got me. Got me. Got me. Right in the gut. Tell the Bates I'll be alright. The Mind Flayers have already enthralled her. Leave her, or we will share her fate. Loot a body? Nothing. What good are you if you cannot benefit me personally? Is that another combat? Oh, we got a short bow here. What bow does he have? A short bow? Yeah, okay. So that doesn't, that's not gonna help me at all. Nothing. Let's talk to you. Oh, lend a hand, won't you, love? There's a rat in the kitchen. Ten red rats. Uh, and they're flying and they're clawing. Yeah, so I don't actually know what it means to be enthralled. Um. Because she said that we would share the same fate as them. But they're not mind flayers. They're just like crazy. So <laughs> I'm not totally sure. Also, these things right here. Um, they're enemies later, but currently we are on a mind flayer ship and we have better things to worry about. To the helm. You are needed to survive. To survive. Following you doesn't seem like a good idea. Imperfect. Fine to the L. Do not delay. Do not delay. I will take as long as I need. Fear me not. See that? Gotta aim right between the horns. Good. <laughs> okay, now that makes more sense. Because last time I talked to her, I was a tiefling. <laughs> and I was like, um, excuse me? <laughs> You gotta aim right between the horns? That is not appropriate. <laughs> now, I don't have to attack these guys, but, uh... Ooh, nat 20! That's the first time I've seen a nat 20. Yeah, anyway, I was gonna say free loot, but, uh, just got a nat 20, so I thought I would show you that. Nothing. What a waste. Ooh, a quill. That's worth one gold. That'll make a difference. I'm a bit peaked, Mom. I think I'll go to bed early. What a poor man. 
Okay, let's make our way within the ship. This right here is the helm where we need to get, but obviously there's no opening right there. Also, it's very weird. <laughs> this whole ship is like very organic and it's very, very creepy. See, I see, I have to break through this mucous membrane before I can continue. I know this, the Mind Flare is so aesthetic, but... Before I saw this game, I didn't know that uh, flying ships were even a thing in the D&D universe. Delicious. And I will make my way over here. Right here is a certain character, if you watch the... Um... Oh, I just picked that up? I did not know you could pick those up. You learn something new every day. Huh. Interesting. So yeah, right inside here is uh, a certain character from the... Uh, oh, you'll see it. It is Shadowheart. We have no time for stragglers. There's magic out work here, but uh, what kind? Arcana check. It's only a six. And I succeed. Not that it's gonna do much. The pod won't open unless they're destroyed. He looks so sad. <laughs> the faces that make that your character makes in this game, they just look so very sad. Uh try to disrupt the bright lights and magic with a touch. But it does nothing. Are you satisfied? We need to go. Listen here. Pod's stuck fast, I can't free you. There has to be another way. Please. Yeah, I haven't be helped. Come. I have not figured out how to get her out of here. She breaks out later, so it's fine. Um My only guess is right here there's three runes. You have to make an arconic check on each one of these. Or sigils. Let's go ahead and try it. I have really high arcana. One succeed. Two. Aggression. Succeed. Come on. Come on. Fail. See, I can't. I can't. <sighs> Every single time I succeed on two, but I, I fell on the third one. So I'm not even sure what that's about. And then Frozen realizes after recording that those sigils probably have nothing to do with freeing Shadowheart. So how the fuck do you get her out? Um, and this button right here is the free loot button. So, so I'll go ahead and push that. Radiate. From the prisoners, but they do not react. Oh, that's for unleash. Okay, this is but okay. But yeah. So, okay. So this is the one that oh, you know, it kills them. Okay. I was going to say, this is a free loot button, because <laughs> it causes them to fight you. But that just straight up killed them. This one did. So I'm not sure what this sigil is, but, uh... Yeah, so aggression makes them fight you. I'm not, I have no clue what all this control panel stuff's about. I will take the free kill. <laughs> As a free loot button, I, I meant I would have to go into combat. But no, this is literally the free, free loot button. We love being murder hobos here. So let's uh, go this way. So yeah, Shadowheart, you're just stuck there. I'm sorry. There's no cure. How many hosts of this gate infected? The Mind Flare pod. Let's take a look inside. A dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. I will just lounge over here. Can I read it? Since I can't read it, I might as well push the button, right? Oop, what did that do? Did I make it do oopsie? Did I mess up your life?
Oh god, that was so graphic. Thank god that was off screen. Yep, and she's a mind flayer now. So yeah, I, I might have already known that was going to happen, but you, you really want to see it for the, the fourth time. Oh yeah, this is a, this is a key. I think there's a, a chest back there that I didn't even look at. So I'm not totally sure what's all going around here. I'm not sure what the whole plot behind this is, because I, I, I thought the idea was that, that you would become mind flayers eventually. This kind of seems to insinuate you would have to be in a pod to become a mind flayer. Maybe I'm not just not realizing. <laughs> yeah, the sitting animation needs work. Can we just sit right here while the whole helm is being destroyed? I'm gonna go back out here towards Shadowheart. Um here's some rain jars. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well this one. Curious. Curious. Is this one also curious? Curious. It sure is. Where is it at? There we go. Uh, this little chest right here. So this is gonna be what that key was for. Quit banging! I can't do nothing for you. Yes, yeah, so this is good. This is basically 59 gold once you sell this. I'll right, we'll take that freebie and then we'll do a quick restore. Not that it does anything because we're not magic users and have not spent any spell slots. So, also admittedly, I thought Ranger was a magic class. Obviously that's not the case, besides these two cantrips that I have. Rangers are half-casters, which means less magic than, say, wizards. You'll get your first spells at level 2. So yeah, let's, uh, let's make our way to the helm, then. Looks like we're all done here. And another restore point, oh thank god. Once inside, do as I say. Are you ready? Wait, did I? Yeah, okay. Eat his brain! Grab him by the horns. So there's an epic fight. Here we go. Get the nerves of the transponder. We must escape now. Yeah, so he he thinks I'm under their control. Do it. We will deal with the gate after we escape. He doesn't realize that I'm uh, fully conscious still. So yeah, this is the big epic fight of the ship, and we have to make our way all the way across this battlefield over to this helm way down here. And if we're not quick, there's going to be reinforcements. These two are just going to fight each other the whole time. In theory. So they'll be fine. But we're going to have to make through all these imps. So let's try to be as quick about it as we can be. And I'm going to go ahead and try to pin... Hmm. i pin you down. That one's a ranger. He's not gonna really get there. We go. I, I'm not sure how much that's gonna help, but uh, yeah, I guess you'll end my turn then. Your spine is yeah, so he's that mind flayer is not good at hitting that devil at all. I miss, or he missed on me. I mean, and let me make my way as far as I can with her, which is unfortunately not close enough to do a melee attack. So even though I'm three feet away, I'm going to have to make a ranged attack. Oh, tar target is too far. Oh, I still have the sword selected. Let me... Wait, what? Why can't I select the bow? I can't unselect the shield either. Like, right click should unselect it, I thought. What? Did this like pin down? Sure, I'll pin you down too. 
Sure, why not? That seems fun. Okay, intern. So, that's a little bit finicky. We need to get out of here now. Oh, that is the plan. That is the plan. Run as quick as I can. And oh, I, I didn't mean to. Okay. Wait, what? What? Why did you just shoot there? <laughs> what? What the heck? Well, there goes that wasted turn. That would have happened in re real D and D. Just take a quick hit to the face there. Lovely. That's gonna be a miss from you. And I will just take you right out. And make my way as far down as I can. And turn. And another quick hit to the face. We love it. I'll try to shoot you. That'd do four. Um go th oh, I'll still go through here. I'll just go right here in my turn. <laughs> At least that was a miss. Okay, you are just within range. Thank you very much for being kind. Dead. Good yo. And I'm gonna shoot you. Oh, come on! Whatever. I'll make my way in here. Strike. Yep, and there have been new ones summoned. These are not the reinforcements I was talking about. This was always scripted. So now there's four more between me and the elm. Oh, wait, no, there's three because this one is uh, this guy over here. So yeah, um, I will end my turn there. See, he is dying. <laughs> I'm assuming if he completely dies. Then uh, Big Devil Boss will also come at you, but I have not had that happen. I don't think I will. I will shoot you down you. If it hits, thank god. Did the minimum damage, but think thankfully that was all I needed. And I'll get you as close down here as I can. I will shoot at you. Critical miss! We are... It's the second one. I had an at 20 earlier. Not that it does much when uh, anything but a 1 would have hit. But we love to see it. I tried to make my way around the edges of the room. That's going to be a good miss. Good, good miss. <sighs> See, I'm having a, a a very I'm having a big problem here that my melee character is not ever within melee range. Isn't that good? So once again, even though I'm three feet away, it will have to be a range attack. Watch it my turn there. Now he has two on him. <laughs> um, now I could try to get to the helm without killing them, but XP, so I do kind of want to take them out. So I'm going to go ahead and disengage out of that. Wait, what? Can you not disengage if there's two of them? Maybe the first time I found out about there, but um, I don't know. Don't know. I use my special then. Use it on you. Critical hit. 
gone down. That's what we like to see. You got anything? Nope, of course not. Oh, that hurt. Um, let's not do that again. Come on. Only two damage! Oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Let me get right here. I'm gonna try to shove you out of the way. There we go. If you could just take all my hits from now on, that would be lovely. Let's do that. Attack her, please. I've got 4 HP left. I don't know what to do here. I did also just realize that I have the scroll of Revivify. I want to make it out with that, but if I go down, will she be able to resurrect me? I don't know. Oh god, the reinforcements are here. Yeah. They're way back here. They're going to take some time to get over here. But I don't want to see what happens if they make it. But he's also about to die. So I'm going to back off, actually. Okay, at least we got that going for me. Let me try to hide. <laughs> nope, he can see me. Okay. Oh my god, he, there, he's got nine health left, I just realized. Oh, thank god that missed. Oh, thank god. Oh, her, this one for the uh, longsword, she can attack multiple at once, so... Doing that will not help me. Why is this the worst off I've been in combat ever? Oh god! This is the fifth time I've done this battle. No, it's the fourth. Oh no! It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, get me the hell out of here! Forget the XP! Oh my god! Um... Let me dash! Yeah, we're done here. We are done here. It's time to get the hell out. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Barely made it in time. I want nothing to do with that. Oh my god. Just take more fire to the face. Fifteen minutes of a loading screen later. Yes, I'm serious. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank the Lord. So yeah, that cutscene definitely should have played before I was on the beach. But I thought I wasn't going to play. Oh, this is very bad stuttering, though. Chug through, come on! The loading took forever, and I was so sure that I, this it was going to die again, just like it did with me that one time.
Dun dun dun. Okay, never mind. I, I was wanting to see if that my flavor would still be alive. I, I knew you still see him alive in the cinematic, but I did just witness him die in combat. Oh, thank the Lord. <laughs> but I was hoping that my flavor might actually be dead in the cinematic, like this is going to be a. Uh, I thought it was going to be a dynamic, but nope. Oh, thank God. I never thought it would happen. I can't believe I'm in one piece. Yeah, same. I can't believe this, this... Oh, it's still checking. Okay. I think we're good, though. Hopefully. Okay. Let me do a quick save. Oh, thank God. New save. Okay, here we go. Now, I, I've... I noticed only the auto... The auto save only worked on the ship. With all my previous playthroughs. I'm not sure if that's only going to be like that. But, um... And I, I was hoping to be able to do more than just the, uh, the ship. But, um... That's a good stopping point, I think, and this video has already gone on well long enough. So, uh, yeah, this is where I'm going to end today. And I, I definitely plan on turning this into a series. Um, maybe a jank series, because again, pre-release. We'll see how things go. That's all I have for you today. I will see you all in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.